Hey there, and welcome back to another AJM Learn CSS Hacks. So today I want to talk about the footer, my least favorite part of building websites. It's so boring. I tend to do the same footers over and over again, same designs. So I figured let's find a way to just make them a little more exciting. Um, got my little practice area here. Here is the post that you're going to be referring to. So let's roll. Um, First thing is line above the footer. Super easy way to create some separation. Um, I, I do a lot of like dark background websites, specifically my websites. So this is a really good way to create separation between the footer and if you have like a, a dark background, you can of course change the hex code here. You can change the thickness of the line, all of those things. You could even get cra crazy and instead of this color, you could throw in the you know code for a gradient, make it you know even cooler. So one simple thing. Next one, also super simple, is adding a drop shadow. Like always, you can play around with all of your, the darkness and the positioning and all of that. But again, pretty easy, copy and paste, adds a nice little drop shadow, some dimension to your footer. Next one, this is one I need on pretty much every website that I use, is centering all the text on mobile. So you can see I just dropped in this gibberish here. And let's pop, actually, let me take this out. Let's pop over to mobile. You can see it's left justified. Throw this in, it's gonna center align all of your text in the footer so you don't have to, I used to go through and target every single thing until I came across this piece of code and so much easier. Last couple things, um, this one, okay, so not CSS, but super important, is you can hide the footer on one page. So let me back out of here go to my pages. So you go into your page settings, go to advanced in your code injection, drop this in, click save and your footer disappears. I do this when I'm doing I don't, like landing pages. Sometimes I'll hide headers and footers. Um, there's different reasons, but I do use this one a lot as well. And then very last thing, let me take this off. Again, not CSS, but something that I'm trying to remind myself to use more often is the built-in feature in 7.1 of like any section adding a background. So as we all know in 7.0 we had to use this crazy piece of code to add a photo to the footer. The like sizing of it was always crazy and tedious. So now we've gotten rid of all of that. Now we can simply let me just upload a photo like you would to any background. I had one picked out. What was it? Let's see. This one, let's try this one. Give it a second to load, taking forever, of course. I probably, it's probably not sized correctly, but for the purpose of the demonstration. Um, okay, let's make sure. Oh, okay, I see what's happening. I thought I had a black background, but it doesn't, but that's okay. You get the idea. You can add your overlay. If you wanna make it darker, if I were just, to have dropped it in with the black background, you know, the overlay would have just helped make things more visible. But you get the point. Always a great way to just spruce it up a little bit more. That's it. Super simple.